So, as promised, you see here my setup for the testing. Um, I will try to milling slots to this aluminium. This is uh, 5083 aluminium. It's uh, commonly used for shipbuilding. Um, this plate is uh, 15 millimeter thick and uh, I hope that we can milling this. Okay. So, one thing what I will do is, um, I consider that this uh, spindle um, is only about, um, not more than 50 watt. So, and um, we, need to, we need to check a little bit uh, the current, what um, the snap maker will use, because other way we would may burn the spindle. So, I consider to modify this, the power cable, what going from the power supply to the snap maker. I will try to open this cable very and try to bring out one of the power wires. So it's just more than enough to, to put the clip in on it. So this you can set to zero. So we can check the current, what the spindle will use when we set this to zero before we start. And then, okay, we have at minimum an idea how many watt the spindle use just in this time. And um, so we can control a little bit that the spindle is not overstressed. I tried to find out some details, but uh, as I could not find any details on the Snapmaker website, so I just opened the spindle and take a look to the motor. But also with this information, um, there are no data sheets or something like this, so I just will stay with the 50 watts, what I assume, and this meaning also not more than 2 amps, and we should be fine. This video here is the second try. The first try I set the Luburn software wrong and so it milling outside and not inside. Um, the steps I use here, the steps down I use here is uh, 0.25 millimeter and the speed is uh, 300 millimeter. What is visible when the table move from the front to the back, the spindle vibrates and when the table drive from the front to the back then the, the noise is smooth and uh, it seems to be much better however i will not make uh, more tries with the luban software because the setting you can do uh, many so we cannot find you in the, the results i will use the fusion 360 for the second try and let's see what we can use 360 to optimize the milling. Here a detailed look to the results. The floor of the slot looks quite okay. But the left wall you can see there are marks. And so this coming when the table moves to the back then the bit start to swinging and make some noise and at the end all the time when the bit go down then also it start to swing and this is why the end and or the starting point not looks nice on the fusion 360 i already set up the parameter for the milling bit Snapmaker rep recommends 12,000 RPM for the spindle and we use air cooling. The other things what I will change is the punch feed rate uh, to 50 mm. This was the problem what we had with the Luban software that uh, it vibrates when the set axis go down. So I make this very slowly to uh, avoid this 
the rest I let everything the same there's nothing to change normally and then the passes I set the multiple deep because we cannot go down in, in one time to 0 0.25 millimeter we will give it a try like this So take some look to the tooling, also the tooling looks looks okay, there's nothing happen, but what is visible for the new slot is that when the tooling go down, also use the set axis, then it's uh, quite noisy. And so this means this, this is still too quick. This was now steps from 0.25 millimeter so also maybe we have to reduce this it was just a try I said last time 0 0.1 should be fine as I saw that the current is so low um, so I try to put a little bit more on it but it's, it seems to be not in relation to the current this is my last attempt for today I fix a little bit the end but um, it is not really working um, how to say the problem is that this here is not strong enough you can move it from hand and this is this what let it swing so also you will not milling aluminium with this the structure is not strong enough that's the result i will try with a smaller tool but um, i think it is not 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 much better although there's a lot of movement inside and with this it's it start to hopping and uh, then you get no nice cut Yeah, it looks like as the snap maker is not strong enough, we will have no big choice to milling aluminium. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And um, if I get a new idea, I will make some more video. But in the moment, I think that is it.